The public's growing interest in issues like justification, authenticity, and true democratic representation speaks volumes about the deepening anxieties surrounding our democracy. Kamala Harris's acceptance speech has ignited widespread concern, highlighting the fears of a democracy increasingly shaped by an out-of-touch elite, seemingly disconnected from the very people it claims to serve. Be clear, my entire career, I've only had one client, the people. And so, on behalf of the people, on behalf of every American, regardless of party, race, gender, or the language your grandmother speaks, on behalf of my mother and everyone who has ever set out on their own unlikely journey, on behalf of Americans like the people I grew up with, people who work hard, chase their dreams, and look out for one another, on behalf of everyone whose story could only be written in the greatest nation on earth, I accept your nomination to be president. Kamala Harris's nomination has stirred profound unease as it strikes at the heart of what democratic legitimacy truly means. How can we uphold the principles of representative democracy when a leader ascends to power without a single vote cast in her favor? The public's belief that leaders should be chosen through a transparent, fair process is a cornerstone of democracy. Yet the criticism that Harris owes her position to rich elites who handed it to her resonates with those who fear that our democratic processes are being manipulated by those in power. When Kamala Harris claims to speak for the people, despite having no direct voter support, her words ring hollow. This is more than just a political misstep. It symbolizes a deeper, more troubling reality where politicians claim to represent the public while remaining distant from the true will of the people. It's a stark reminder of the dangers we face when leaders can rise to power without genuine public backing, threatening the very fabric of our democracy.